This is the stock image picker template at SharePointDashboards.com. The purpose of this template is, allow, is to allow you to select from the large image library available to you as part of Microsoft 365 and SharePoint Online. When you're in SharePoint, you likely have used an option for banners where when you select the image on a banner, you can change the image and go to stock images. And as noted at the bottom of the page, as a Microsoft 365 subscriber, you have access to the full library of creative content. So these are part of the Microsoft 365 ecosystem. This template taps into this image library, allowing you to use these images not just on page banners, but also directly in your list. And this sets you up to be able to do that in a very convenient way. So when you get to this template screen, you're going to see a preview which helps you understand how this works. Basically, when you click on a button in a column, it's gonna pull up a context menu with some categories. And then once you pick a category, it'll show you selection options. Um, you can change the appearance of the buttons that appear in this interface, uh, make adjustments such as the curve border on the buttons, the fabric icon which shows next to the text, all those types of things are configurable. One of the most important configuration settings is the image output setting. This controls the size of the image that's going to be loaded. What's going to happen is this is going to set the hyperlink value to point to that stock image um, and at the size you select. Now, you do need to have a hyperlink field that you're going to reference. You can simply use a placeholder, a text field with nothing in it to hold the selector. That's where we're going to paste our code and then the selected image is going to go into our hyperlink column. When you create the hyperlink column, be sure that you've selected the option uh, for that to be a picture, as noted uh, below. Do be sure to read through the notes. It gives some explanation, um, including some comparisons on the size of the image files, depending on which size you pick. So let's go ahead and move forward. My target hyperlink column, I called selected image. So I do need to make sure that I enter the name of my field I am targeting into the template in order for it to work. All right, I've applied that. And then I am gonna use the large image output and I can go ahead and copy my template. I just need to follow the instructions in the pop-up window, then click OK. And now I can come back over to SharePoint. And I made a column, which is a simple text column to hold my button, which is just called gallery image. Um, and I go to column settings, format this column, advanced mode, and I'm going to paste. Note that this is a very large template because it uh, stores links to all those various images directly in the template. Um, so just something to be aware of. Um, it should work just fine. Um, so there's my button, which allows me to make a selection. So I'm gonna click on that. There's my pop-up window, and I'll pick the chart category. And then you've got a scrolling window of options. So I can just pick from one of those. And as you can see, it has loaded the option I picked. If I want a different option, of course, I can just go back in and go to a different category and make another selection. There is my option that I selected. And that's all there is to it. This image library is really handy. Uh, this particular tool, the selector tool, provides you access to 1,000 images. You have 20 different categories pre-selected, and then for each of those categories, there's a total of 50 images that are going to be in that list. So 
a really nice variety of images. This particular template is great to use in conjunction with other templates. So be sure to check out the SharePoint dashboard site so that you can use this, uh, for example, to do a image style navigation, or if you wanted to do something uh, like a slideshow or include this in a background in a news web part, things like that. So this uh, allows you to do those types of things easily. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found that handy. This is a really handy tool to allow you to quickly and easily bring in the stock images into your SharePoint list. Those images normally you only have in the header um, as a banner on pages. And now you can bring it into your SharePoint list very easily. Good luck.